saying no to Donald Trump's request to dismiss charges in one of the criminal cases against the former president. It involves Trump's handling of classified documents after he left the White House. NPR's Greg Allen reports. Trump is charged with withholding and concealing classified and top-secret documents. He took the Mar-a-Lago from the White House and then lying about it to investigators. Judge Eileen Cannon, a Trump appointee, heard two motions to dismiss the case. In one, Trump says the statute under which he's being prosecuted is unconstitutionally vague. The judge denied that motion. Trump is charged with having unauthorized possession of classified and top-secret documents. His lawyers say as president, Trump effectively designated them as personal records and gave himself authorization to take them when he left the White House. Judge Cannon has yet to rule on that motion. She says the defense arguments raise factual issues best brought up at trial. Greg Allen, NPR News, Fort Pierce. A judge will decide whether to delay Trump's hush money trial in New York. Prosecutors say they are open to a delay of up to 30 days. Trump's legal team requested more time to review new records. Gangs in Haiti have unleashed another day of violence in the country's capital. NPR's Ader Peralta reports it comes as political groups try to form a transitional council. The gangs rampaged across Port-au-Prince on Thursday. They shot at the airport just as workers had begun to fix damage from previous attacks. Local news reported that gangs had also looted the house of the director of the national police and then set it on fire. The violence follows a couple of days of relative quiet, and it comes just days after Haiti's prime minister agreed to resign, and days after the international community brokered a deal to install a transitional council that will eventually elect a new transitional prime minister. Some prominent gang leaders have rejected the plan, saying it doesn't represent the will of the Haitian people. The gangs have threatened more violence as a means to oppose the plan. Ada Peralta, NPR News, Cap Haitian in northern Haiti. Russia's presidential election starts today. Vladimir Putin is expected to secure a fifth term. NPR's Charles Maines says there are other candidates and those who did not make it on the ballot. Two anti-war candidates were disqualified over supposed registration violations. And of course, Putin's fiercest challenger, Alexei Navalny, died in a remote prison colony under uh, circumstances that still aren't clear. And Navalny's allies certainly think his death or murder was timed to these elections. In fact, they're calling people to honor Navalny's last known political wish to protest the vote uh, by swarming the polling stations at noon on Sunday. Voting takes place over three days. Tornadoes and severe weather swept parts of the Midwest, killing at least three people in Ohio.